In this video, I want to describe a common error when new programmers are attempting to implement call by reference for the first time with the objective of helping you avoid that error in the future. So in this code here, there is a correct implementation of call by reference. I create two variables, in this case doubles here, swap and divide. I correctly just put the variables in. In the function itself, I have double appersand. That's the correct way to do call by reference. And then I perform a swap, then change the result. So here I, it'll be three and four. I do a swap. So when I do this correctly with call by reference, I'll get four and three, and I'll print out a double version of four divided by three. So it'll be 1.333. So let me run this code to demonstrate that it runs correctly. And we see that it in fact works. In this next code segment, I have essentially the same code. It's the same function. So the function is correct in terms of call by reference. But in my call in line 21, I have two different mistakes. The crucial thing with call by reference is since it refers to an instantiated variable that can be changed, it has to be a variable only. The first mistake is I try to pass the number 10. The number 10 is just a number. It's not a variable. So when I run and compile the code, what it's going to tell me is it's going to have an invalid initialization. And what that means is there's no variable to point back to. And we see that 10 there is the cause of the error. So if I were to change this to input 1, which is a correct initialization with call by reference, we're going to see this input 2 plus 3, which is my second error, is now going to be the source of the error. And we see here that input 2, 3 now is highlighted in the error message. Because this is just a number, it's 4 plus 3, so it's passing the number 7, not a variable, not a register location. So when you're using call by reference, be sure to pass variables only.